I think the last time I posted a video was when I was back here at Porsche configuring my GT4S. Now, judging by the title of this video, I think we all know what we're here for now. Let's go in. Are you excited, <laughs> Emily? I am. I'm excited to yeah. see it. Yeah. It's been a long time coming for this one. Em. No. What do you think of the car? It's covered. Alex, what do you think of the car? Uh, I'm <laughs> sitting in it. You uh, sitting in it? Yeah. That's the worst. That's the worst thing about a new car is you're technically not the first person to sit in it. So you guys remember Wyatt, Emily, Alex is the one who took my money. Here it is. After how many a year? Actually, well, longer than a year, I think. It was like, well, we had to move the allocation. We'll get to that in a second as the reason why. We had to move the allocation, and then prior, I think I was on the list for like five years. Six years? Like I think I was on the list before this car was even like a thing. So here we are, 2024. Should we uh, take the cover off? What do you guys think the color is? If you remember in the last video, cause you know I post videos so frequently nowadays. <laughs> if you go back like seven, eight months, we built the whole car, you pretty much know the spec, but we didn't tell the color, right? So before we reveal this, any guesses? Go for it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, ultraviolet paint to sample GT4 RS. I had to do a little nod to my old 3 RS. I absolutely love this color. And man, I saw pictures, but uh, this is it. Wow. So I saw this car when it came off the truck and it had all the bumper stuff on it. You kind of look at it and you're like, eh. You know, it's all right. And you guys swapped the clear side markers in for me. What do you think, Em? I love it. You love it? Yeah. Love it? I do. I like wow. I had to pause so I could look at it, but we'll go over the quick specs again, just in case you all forget. Paint the sample, ultraviolet. We did the standard wheels because I don't mind the look of these. Uh, and the mag wheels were also like a billion dollars. So the other thing with the mag wheels is if you chip them or you damage them, they're a little bit challenging to repair. So the backup plan was if we didn't get paint to sample, we were gonna do the mag wheels. But since we got paint to sample, I went with these wheels and I actually just went with the standard. Satin platinum. Satin platinum, so you could go, we were debating on going black and I think we had actually specced them black and then I was like, I think it's gonna be a little too dark for the car. So we went with the platinum because I wasn't sure if I wanted to go with the uh, silver. If you remember my three RS, I had the silver uh, BBS on them, the FIRs. So I really liked the contrast there. Obviously we did Y Sox, so you get the carbon hood, mirror caps, Exposed carbon wing and then Porsche across the back and then interior with the Y sock pack you get the full race text dash you get the little uh, Y sock RS there on the uh, head plate and then obviously in the back there you get the exposed carbon engine bay um, but I did fire extinguisher illuminated door sills in yellow and then I went with my traditional interior and then the only other thing that I want to show you the steering column wrapped in leather and I think it's a small, it's like four or $500 option, but it adds all this deviated stitching across the top of the dash. So it's a small little piece, adds a nice little touch. We've got the plate back on, don't worry. You get this with the Y sock. Now I gotta break it in, right? That's the tough part. It's what, a thousand miles of, of six, it's like 6,000, I think. No 9K until 1,000.
I'm so excited. I want to give a huge thanks to Wyatt. Thank you. Nick, if you're watching, everybody here at Porsche Mechanicsburg. If you guys are in the Mechanicsburg area or, you know, Mechanicsburg, what, Carlisle area, anywhere really, make sure you guys come check them out. They've been so helpful throughout this whole process. It's been a long time coming. They get to deal with me. You all know how picky I am, but these guys, this is their first go around with Troy. So they've been super accommodating, super helpful, and super patient. So I'm going to get in this thing. I'm going to enjoy the drive home, and I'll see you when I get back home. We're back home. Before I pull this in to the garage, I'm going to get the seat protectors on. These are the bolster covers. I install these on every single one of my cars. They're from Crazy Eddie. They look OEM. You can see the stitching it uses the same stitching and everything. So what these do is they go over and they protect the bolster here because this does not flex, right? These are the carbon buckets. You guys have seen me put these in all my cars, um, but we're going to get this pretty much. It just goes over top here and then there's a small piece that goes here. And when you get in and out, that protects these wear out and these are 600 bucks versus the whole bucket seat gets worn out here and it kind of looks ugly installed looks oem i like the stitching on this piece as well uh, this piece is actually one of the pieces that gets worn out pretty bad right here on the ends so even if this piece gets worn out you can go ahead and replace that but you can see it looks oem flush and factory and again there's the other side those crinkles and creases, they'll work themselves out in the heat and as you use them. But what it does is this goes down through the seat belt holder and attaches to the back of the seat down there. This is the first thing you should do to any Porsche with bucket seats. Shout out, Eddie, if you're watching. Thanks for a great product. What do you think, pal? Do you like it? Huh? Good talk. I know it's been a long time coming. I know I started talking about this car, what, four years ago? I think I mentioned it earlier in the video, but I had a deposit on this car before this car was a thing, as with, I'm sure, a lot of Porsche people. So it's been a really, really long journey. The joke is that I'm usually an impatient person. All my friends will tell you that. I think you can say that I was patient this time, and I'm really, really glad that I held on, waited, took my time. Huge thanks to Porsche Mechanicsburg. They've been super helpful. Um, I know I gave them a shout out earlier, but again, I just wanted to highlight, you know, it's my first time working with them and it's nice that they're local. They're 10 minutes away. So uh, the car's home. We're back. Again, you guys, the, the garage isn't finished yet, but uh, looks right at home in here. Couldn't be happier. So I have plenty of things scheduled for this thing. Um, I have exhaust, so fab speed. I'm going to try to get down there, talk to them. Uh, see what we have going on, but unfortunately I've got a break-in period in this car. I can't really rev the thing out uh, till 9k until about a thousand miles. I already put a hundred miles on it today, drove it all around on the way home. I'm really excited to drive this thing. I can tell you already, it's nice to be back in the Cayman platform. I really like that platform. It is different. All the intake noises, there are a lot more sounds going on this thing that uh, I've got to get used to. So plenty of videos to come on that. I got to get some miles on it, get it broken in, get past that run-in period, and then we can really run it up to 9k. So I appreciate all of you watching. I have a garage update video coming that'll probably come after this video. Now that the car's here, we got more content coming. It's spring, summertime here in Pennsylvania. Plenty more content coming your way. I owe you guys a garage update video. I know this doesn't look like how my old house was, but there's plenty of things coming. I'll link that video when we talked about the plans for the garage, but I have updated plans. I've got my update for over here in the corner. I've got an update for this fiasco, uh, all the lighting that's gonna be going in, all the uh, electric. So I will have an update video here in the next couple weeks on that, I promise. With that being said, as always, thank you all for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Troy Sowers. Be posting a lot of this car the next couple weeks. Uh, actually indefinitely now we're going to revive the good old instagram but again make sure you guys are following if you could like this video big thumbs up that would be greatly appreciated help me out a lot make sure you're subscribed we'll catch you guys on the next video